Hello, welcome to round one. We are on the draw. Uh, if we hit a mountain, this hand's good. And I, I don't think you can mulligan hands like this. I mean, if we hit any lands, we can play the hammer skull. And mountain, we can just kind of take over the game. Sure. We have two of them. But yeah, if we can go like Hammer Skull into Raptors, into Removal Spell, into Suncrown Hunters, that's a really tough hand to beat. Well, not so sure about playing. <laughs> not so sure about playing Duress in Limited. Um, I guess if you have threats you really want to protect, but it's such a bad top deck in the late game that I'm actually. Well, I don't know. It's actually pretty good against my hand and my deck, because I'm like mostly removal. But I think in general it's not the most amazing card. Right, you're going to use it to take a removal spell. Um, but you're sacrificing your late game. Okay, we need to draw one more land here. I think they probably have vanquished the weak. Don't do it? Okay. Um, you're sacrificing your late game for basically protection against removal. What is happening? Land. Okay. And I think you're much better with a card like Dive Down, because then they have to spend the mana, right? Because they took my Fire Cannon Blast, but they I didn't spend any mana on it. So we traded one for one, but they had to use the mana in the card and sacrifice potential late game good draws. Okay, I don't know what they're doing, but... We're a thrash of Raptor Zing. No plays? Okay. Do you have like contract killing now? I really hope they wait and try and vanquish the weak my hammer skull and then I can share strike and it's great. Lane. Not bad as well. Um I think I just fire cannon blast that down. Um, double red means I'm very unlikely to be able to play other spells in the same turn. And if they play like a really big threat here, I'd like to be able to Ixalan's Binding it down. Let's say they have like some crazy Planeswalker or something. Yeah. Um, that's fine. Actually, wait, are they just dead? They're one one damage away? Wait. So, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They're one life away from just being dead. Jeez. Dire Fleet Interloper. They put it on top, sure. <laughs> I love this deck so much. So, so much. I'm just gonna kill their guy now. I'm sorry, do I just have like a million removal spells? <laughs> the answer is yes. What's sad is I can't even get value out of my sure strike because my hammer skull just stops him from blocking. So that's pretty depressing. And now if I hit lands up to sun crowned hunters then... Oh man. They can't even play more Queen's Agents. I hope their hand was just all Queen's Agents. Uh, I guess it's, it's about as good as it can go. I don't really know what their deck does or what it's supposed to do. 
I think dual shot in general is fine against black white. Give me some text, one sec. <laughs> yeah. Um Sunrise Seeker, like I, their deck didn't do anything. I'm just deciding if I want to keep in dual shot. Probably not. I think against black white. I don't know, they just didn't do anything. I think this will get him. A lot of black's removal spells are really clunky. And this can do some work. Bum bum. Opponent sideboarding forever. They're sideboarding out all their bad cards. Like, imagine if Duress was any creature there. I would have had to spend three mana fire cannon blasting their Duress. Or the creature, instead of them just taking it with Duress. But if they have, like, some weak creatures or something that want to protect, it makes sense. Ooh. This is a pretty good hand. I might play off Kerr. I guess I'll leave with the Lightning Rig crew. Because if that gets killed, it's not the end of the world. So, Sheltering Light could be a dual shot. No! <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? Uh, it would have been so good against him. I did not expect the Imperial Lancer out of the Duress Do Nothing deck. Take one. Okay, planes. Done. Go, your turn. Turn four rowdy crew in the dark. Okay, they don't have hammer skull. Oh yeah. Uh Yeah, I think I'd rather have Lightning Rig crew get vanquished the week. But I, I'm not gonna like just do nothing. So if they have Vanquish the Week, that's fine. Wow, no play. Sure. Gold Duggery. It's a good card. They kept it on top. Strange. I think I'm fine rowdy crewing. If I trade like some random creatures for lands, that's okay. I think worst case scenario. Yeah, yeah, everything I'm discarding is a creature, so that's fine. Whenever you cast a pirate spell, so I'm gonna ping them. They're like, wait, he has pirates? Of course I have pirates. Alright. Not the end of the world. 4 mana 3-3, three, three, drew a card and discarded this dumb sheltering light. I'll probably trade it with their Menace guy, if possible. Sure. 
Um, I need to work or worry about vampire zeal, I guess, is the only big concern here. But if they want a vampire zeal down by rowdy crew, that's totally fine. I'm already up a card from it. I mean, you can do it. Oh yeah, I knew about the Skullduggery. <laughs> what am I doing? I mean, it's the same effect. I don't really mind that trade, though. <laughs> yeah, I knew about that effect the whole time. <laughs> Hey, hey. So here we have five mana. So I think for efficiency, I'm just going to go Hammer Skull Skyblade of the Legion. Um, I can unfriendly fire next turn. And they do have a lifelinker. That's okay. I'll take three off the interloper. Okay. I feel like they should have attacked with it. Mountain, so... I think I hit for one in the air. I'm keeping up on friendly fire in case they have something... something crazy. And then I think post combat probably just gonna land a Pterodon Knight. I think the flying's a bit more valuable. Uh, I mean Thresher Raptors is huge, but I think I'm probably gonna keep it back most of my guys to block. In fact, maybe I do keep back Skyblade this turn. Cause what if they go like Vanquish the Weak your Hammer Skull? Untap, play the guy who pumps vampires, and now they have a 4-4. Four, four. I guess I still don't really care about having the 1-3 back to block. It's a tough call. I mean, they're giving me plenty of time to think about it. I think actually... Yeah, I think I can attack for 1 here. The incremental damage definitely matters when I have a pinger. There's no like mighty leap or anything in this format. Yep. Yeah, I think I'm just post combat Pterodon Knight. 
Flying's just so relevant. No plays. What is in their hand? Do they just have like a bunch of 4 4 lifelinkers? Sure. They have to... I don't understand their deck. This is why I really, like... <laughs> today was the closest I've been to drafting black in this format thus far. I mean, I think I've drafted, like, black pirates. Because I think Skullduggery is very good, but... I just feel like black-white is a pretty bad deck. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm biased. But, like, I've been doing pretty well without it. And I haven't been intentionally avoiding it. I just... The cards are never there. I think my opponent's hand is just garbage. Considering how long they've been thinking about this. Um, so let's see. They attack with Imperial Lancer. I'm, I'm think I'm just gonna take the menace damage. I don't want to trade my Pterodon Knight. I'll probably block Bishop Soldier. Although the plus two plus two and first strike really gets us with that guy. Because um, even if we double block, he becomes a four four. We can. How do we block? This is pretty tough. I guess I just wait and see what they have. Okay, nothing makes it easy on us. Draw. One, two, three, four. Um. I don't really know what's going on over there. But I'm gonna hit for three in the air. Uh, I don't think there's any board wipes in this format. Except for a Star of Extinction. I'm just trying to decide if I play Thrash of Raptors or not. I, they had no good plays last turn. My guess is they just have a lot of like very expensive 6 mana 4-4s. Four so, yeah, we could just like really set up for a crazy turn next turn. And I think this unfriendly fire is probably just going to the face. Keeping Skyblade of the Legion back because it blocks Imperial Lancer so well. Um, that makes that decision much easier. I think I still take the 3 3 from Dire Fleet. Actually, yeah, if they attack, I'd probably just take most of it. Maybe block Bishop Soldier. Because we have so much damage on the backswing. Opponent taking their sweet time. Feel free to watch this on fast forwarded or skip ahead or whatever. Have you guys. I like watched a lot of YouTube videos on like times two speed really disorienting like when you go from watching videos really fast to not or vice versa messes with me sure that's not the end of the world that's their only play the whole turn that's so good for us their attacks are just as mediocre I feel like they should be getting in with the menace guy at the very least we don't have any good blocks on their 3-3 menace Now we can kill their lifelinker, which I like doing a lot. Um, so, let's see, they're at... That's four. Plus one. It's five. Okay, this is one, they're at ten. 
plus four puts him at six. Oh yeah, we're attacking. Well, three plus one is puts him at seven, and then they're just dead in the air. So I can keep this back to block even. Okay. That works for me. And I'm just gonna kill their life linker because um, I don't want them gaining life. We can do one. Yeah, so doing this is the same as going to the face, but it means I don't have to chump block. Or don't have to block their guy. Right, next turn we have lethal many different ways. And I don't know what my opponent can do to get out of this that they couldn't have already done. Uh, making me discard would be like fine. I guess one reason why I should have attacked with Skyblade. Actually, yeah, that's a pretty good reason is if I attack with Skyblade, they're at six. And then this pings on my turn, then they're at 5, I untap, they're at 4, and then I have just lethal in the air. Now I have to resolve unfriendly fire. So if they have, like, you know, duress, the card I made fun of a lot, would actually be, like, fine here. But any other stage of the game, duress would have been pretty bad. And... I mean, I just have, like, super lethal if they don't attack. Or if they attack, and if they don't attack, then I just ping them to death with lightning rig crew. My flyers. Yeah, my deck's awesome. Alright, they're playing a spell. Let's go. What you got? Double strike Mark of the Vampire. Let's do it. Take six. That was a good attack. Well, they're getting frosty now. Um, how much damage do I have on the backswing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Plus 4 is 15. They're gaining 6 up to 13, so they're just dead. Okay. I'm taking 9, so nowhere near dead. Unless they have like a 1 mana way to kill my hammer skull. See here, duress would be excellent for them, but they don't have it. I think the only possible trick... Wait, are they, they're just dead on board, aren't they? Tap down your dino. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so they're not quite dead. I mean, unfriendly fire is going to kill them. Alright. That was a weird game. Mark of the Vampire gave him a good chance, though. Anyway, see you guys in round two.